Hello everyone, on this episode I'm going to be talking about Ernst Younger's Storm of Steel. This is probably my favorite World War I book I've read so far. I did this uh, last year for the 100th anniversary. Um, it's about, it's written by Ernst Younger who is a pretty badass guy in World War I. He was a German soldier who fought from 1914 to 1918 and before the war he was even in the French Foreign Legion but when the war broke out he uh, went back home to uh, Germany to sign up for the war and I think he got into action I guess in October of 1914 maybe a little bit later than that so the war had already been going a little while but he definitely uh, was in the whole thing for most of the time so uh, yeah basically it's written kind of like a diary so it's like uh, one day this happened next day da, 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 and goes all the way through which is pretty interesting because it's uh, you know it's just a very precise no bullshit no flowery language really this is uh, this day my friend blah 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 you know, got killed by a shrapnel from an artillery shell. And then the next day, da, 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 you know, it just keeps going on like that. But it's actually very interesting, very action-packed, I guess, if you want to call it that. But, uh, yeah, he, Ernst Young is just a badass. I think he would be wounded 14 times in the war. Shot five times, including while he was running, he got a, uh, I guess it was a machine gun bullet through both of his legs so the bullet went through one leg and then the other one so yeah but he kept coming back to the fight uh this book is usually paired with um all quiet on the western front i've heard people try to say well all quiet on the western front is the epitome of the anti-war book for world war one and this one's kind of considered not really a pro-war, but Ernst Younger kind of talks about, you know, the good qualities of being a soldier and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's very interesting, you know, talking about how it makes him a man and stuff. So it's pretty, pretty interesting. And uh, he's also very famous for being the youngest man ever to be awarded the highest German medal, the uh, poorly merit. I think he was only like 21 when he received it in 1918. And fittingly enough, he would also be the last living man to uh, uh, be awarded it. Uh, I think he lived to be 102, so he was the youngest, and he was the last living one to uh, have received the medal, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, it just goes through a lot of the famous battles. My favorite part is when he's talking about the Spring Offensive in 1918, and just, you know, this is Germany's last-ditch effort to win the war, and, uh, you know, after three years of trench warfare, the entire German army on the Western Front stands up out of trenches and starts marching towards the British and French lines. Because they had to do this before the Americans got there, because this was the first time that the Germans had numerical superiority on the Western Front. Because of the Russian Revolution, they were able to, which ended the war on the Eastern Front, so that the Germans were able to move all their soldiers to the Western Front. So he was talking about, like, just the feeling of marching one last time west was pretty powerful and pretty crazy, so... Yeah, definitely check out Ernst Younger's Storm of Steel.